Welcome back to The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 5, and final episode of this uh, season. No going back. No DLC for this one, unlike the first one, which had a DLC that really didn't make any difference, because uh, whether you played it or not, the characters that are in it are pretty useless. They have one scene and the life of me, I did not know that one guy was was part of it for a long time. He was there. I, I don't remember which one it was, and it was a while ago. Previously on The Walking Dead. We say the guy named Arvo. He betrayed us. Many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Problem with this season. Misery right then. Bill Carver off in the third season, the third chapter. He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Try that now, or I'm gonna fucking call. shoot it. We I'll do it. it. Drop it. Drop, Drop it. it. Don't move. 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 Everybody be cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I know the story is tailored by how I play. I know that game. I know that this this Walking dead. Um, no. They did. He didn't even aim at one of them. He was aimed at zombie Rebecca. The baby! <laughs> Gotta save the baby! <laughs> Come 
on. Should have done the start. Stabbed him to the back of the head, not to the neck. It's safe to come out. Here, I got him. Save the baby. Jesus Christ, that was uh, that was intense. Why are you standing, I Luke? Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Still mad at you. Thank you for coming Thank back. For coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. He did. He didn't deserve it. We killed. He tried I killing us. as a walker, but it's different. You saved us. Yeah, that's why I did it. But it felt wrong. Ow! Come on. Okay. Becca. Sorry you didn't make it, lady. A rivalry will never have happened now. Her achievement. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Don't you go blaming yourself, Kenny. You did what you had to, to protect the boy. She just lost too much blood. Ain't nobody's fault. You never know, did it. Done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah, yeah, she is. Whether you do it or he does, we'll same end. Your boy, you rest easy. Names are both just. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get guys, off me! Come on! It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Yeah, he's a threat. Get out of the way! Whoa! What are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, please! Kenny, his his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. For food. See? He wants to help. Let us lead you to my trap! He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I not want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. And if it's a trap, we'll all be dead. Pretty much. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this. You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place. Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. It doesn't matter why it happened. We have to move on. Think about the baby, Kenny. 
If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shit bird up. Yeah, I got something. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. That's just pretty hard to watch at points. Everyone is beaten up. Luke, Mike, Kenny. And the ones who aren't are were Bonnie and I know Peter. you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. Do you want a I'm cookie? No, I can't do that. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... That's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. Wouldn't Give it a 10. It be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything Ew. he's been through. He's lost. It's changing him. Yeah, I've noticed that too. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. Yeah, he's pretty much. On you. If we're really going to make this work, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best. I know. Come on, slow pokes! By the end of this chapter, only one will be with me. Who will be the one? The game kind of set it up at the start that it'd be Luke and Kenny, but as you've noticed, it goes from Luke and Kenny to Jane and Kenny. It's beat up so badly in this that he's uh, pretty much a non contestant in I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen. You understand? Can come on. There's no need for that. He's getting what he deserves. Ah. Uh. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. If you yeah, he understands. For you. I hope yeah, you are, though. He understands. Just fucking stay put. You can be on Kenny's side you. completely on he this. You have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. Do I? Are you kidding me? Yes, yeah. I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. 
suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, uh, I've been better. He's got Luke's blood on our hands. How did we get here? I have to think about it. Walked. We walked. At least most of us did. You basically had to be carried. Sitting in the snow. Leaning up against a tree. Bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead. For no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Right. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete. Alvin and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No, not completely. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. You got beat up. All right, this should work. That's You're perfect. in worse shape than Kenny. What I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. You know, complaining. <laughs> trying to guess how far uh, this place is. And Luke feels You're feeling bad about what happened. A what? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Hey, Clem, go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. They really need changing. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. <laughs> that line I don't remember that line at all go on I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. I think his parents would have liked that. Yeah, me too. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think, I don't think he cares. What do you uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier to Bonnie. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All <laughs> right, let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. A lot of the scare clam at this point. It's okay. <laughs> I trust you. There we go. I'm the governor. How's it look? I still gonna be pretty when this heals? I'm glad Carver's dead. I got even with him. Sure did. I could have liked this. Invisible liquid anyway, so. 
So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. So, this is going to hurt like hell. Well, you could have lied a little, you know. <laughs> Holy fucking hell. You need to stop squirming. the language junior you're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown i'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than i am man is that smart he'll be tough just like his dad oh alvin didn't look it but yeah that guy had a pair on him you were right about me giving myself up i can't believe i was willing to sacrifice alvin just to hold out a little longer we should have saved him sooner Got him out of the camp. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Alvin should be here, raising this boy. It should be him, not me. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. That was a little ominous there, uh, Kenny, but okay, I, I got you. That these uh, will look exactly the same when I put these back on you. Character oh, model change at all? Yep. Are we ready to go? That yeah, looks slightly different. Let's patch. Interesting that they had a conversation that wouldn't that only happens if you go to see Kenny. Didn't change that at all. A little bit of cutbacks, I think. Either. Bro, don't lead us into any traps. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! He doesn't speak much English. Yeah, no shit! Is that it? I thought you said it was a house! Arvo, we're not trying to be mean to you. We just want to know if this is where the supplies are. Is this the place you're taking Are the supplies here? No, it's at the house. It's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. This guy fucked us. Uh, thank you. Don't mention it. It's getting oh. dark. Maybe Take a rest. We stop rest. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. You don't fucking know that. I know we've been walking all day and we're still fucking nowhere. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want. Okay, but I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. True. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. I'll make silly faces at him. That should do it. No, that's all you. Tongue out. Let's give him a raspberry. Wouldn't Chuck him at the woods. Work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. <laughs> Here, I got him. Hey. Come on over. 
It's safe. <clears throat> There's armor. Hands aren't really... It'll look tied. It'll look like your hands just... Just put your hands over the top of each other. I'll take your word for it, game. Today's my birthday. Oh, God. Near as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday. This week. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, I'm sure I'm calling you... What? 27? That's, that's right. I'm surprised you remembered. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. Probably. What did you study? Majored in art history. That's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. Did you get a minor in agriculture? Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion, and while it being your birthday and all, figure this is as good a time as any. Where did you get it? Bill kept all the alcohol in the armory. He didn't like people imbibing. What's that mean? Drinking. He, he didn't think people should drink. Why did he have it? I feel a little guilty taking the first... Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the, uh... Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. We can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. Just sit a little while longer. Nah, you stay warm. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. This is a lot more calm in this version, but maybe it's because Serena died the way she did. I remember him being a little more Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You say that. I know. I know. Maybe she's lonely. Don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. It has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that explained a few things. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just teasing. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. Once you get past all the dirt and guts. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right it wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one oh, around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. I know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. <laughs> You're talking about the kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes. yes, yes. That, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now. The both of you. Pretty sure Jane would be able to hear you. She's right there. Maybe she, she came back for you. I doubt it. Could be. I don't know what to say. Either. I'd come back for you. I'd come back for you. You know what I mean. Well, thank you, Clem. I do the same. Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. 
The moves are working on all the lately. Worked on me. <laughs> oh, shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thoughts. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Heck, this might be the shortest yeah, chapter. Go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there like that. Oh, and here. Maybe a swig of this will change the minds. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm just reflecting again. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just, I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Koch's face. Anything in the world. I miss Doug too. He was a good friend, and I haven't had too many of them. Oh, well, Sarah, not long ago. Boy, pure. Just wanted folks to be happy. That's all. Boy like that, thrown into a world like this. It's gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. The baby might be cold. Maybe you should bring him by the fire. Yeah, okay. That's how you get Kenny to go back. You gotta talk to him about the baby. Always the babe. Look at Jane. Actually, I think I might have uh, messed up and not have the ability to take the drink anymore. I think I was supposed to talk to her first because Kenny would be able to see. Now he can. For the, let's see the drink. I think I could have given him the drink too, couldn't I? I messed that up too. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to, you know, be We're all adults. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here, are we now? <laughs> you know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. I have to talk to Arvo. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? It's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. Um, or sure. Uh oh, Kenny's gonna see it. <laughs> you okay? He did it. He saw it. Ah, I stopped. Uh oh, busted. I better take that back. All right, I shouldn't I have done that first. Older than you when I had my first drink. 
God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. It was not sugar candy. Oh, Did God. you get caught? Yeah. The problem with glasses, yeah. it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's uh, never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. Holy shit. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Sure, we're making me remember stuff. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Jane will always go back to the group, but Kenny doesn't won't if you don't tell him the baby. <coughs> Wanna sit here? No. That's I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <coughs> we'll talk to Arvo. I can still talk to Arvo. Good. Hello, Arvo. 